How many have been confused over the way that thread is labeled as far as the weight system? Isn't that a horribly confusing thing? Go back to page five. Page five talks about the different weight systems available. And there's five of them. Have you heard of TEX? T E X? Page four, thank you. Page four. Oh, I'm looking at the chart. Okay, we're looking at the chart on page five. Page five has a chart. TEX is a text system. This is a system used by a couple companies that they use to measure the, the size of the weight or the thickness of thread used in long arm machines. It's confusing. We're most used to the weight system. Well, weight system is American made up. Here's the problem with the weight system. Companies brought in a thread from probably Japan and it was labeled number 50 slash 2. What's a slash 2 mean? To apply. To apply. Well, the company said, okay, number 50 slash 2, okay, in America, 50 weight. They label it 50 weight. Another company brings in a thread from Japan or other countries, and it's labeled number 50 slash 3. Three ply, right? Mm -hmm. Means it's 50% heavier because it has one more ply. Well, they don't understand that, so they say, okay, number 50, okay, the 50 weight. That's why if you go to the store, and if you buy a brand A, B, C, all labeled 50 weights, put them side by side, guess what? They're different. Because weight is strictly a ballpark guess only. It has nothing to do with how many plies it has. That's why it's so confusing. I've been doing this now for 10 years. There's the weight system, the tech system. If you are an embroiderer, guess what we use? Called the denier or the denier system. An embroidery thread, rayon mostly is going to say 120 slash D. Okay, it's another one to confuse us. Then there's a number system, a number 30, a number 40, a number 50. And then there's a composition system that says number 30 slash 3, number 40 slash 3, number 50 slash 2. Five ways thread are measured. And it's confusing. So here's my advice. Get out a big marking pen, draw a big X through this box, and never look at it again. <laughs> because after 10 years, I'm still confused. It is just so confusing, and there are too many mislabeled threads in the world. So here's how I choose. If I want the thread to blend, I choose a fine thread. If I want the thread to show, I go medium to heavy. I use the numbers or the weight as ballpark only. So if a label says 50, I'm going to assume it's toward the finer side. If the label says 30, I'm going to assume it's toward the heavier side. And that's how I choose, knowing that it's not scientific. Because, here's why. The weight system What's happening, by the way, as a number gets bigger? We go from a 20 to 30, 40, 50, 60. The thread gets finer. Isn't that crazy? Because some man made up the system, so it's opposite. Well, it really isn't that crazy because it is a weight to measurement system. What I want to know is how much thread does it take to weigh a pound? So I have my scale here. I got my bucket, and I'm going to put in that bucket until the scale hits a pound. So I take this thread out and I find out, okay, that took 30 miles of thread. So I'm calling it 30 weight. Now I get another thread and I realize, wow, this thread took 50 miles away a pound. What's happening to the thread size? It's smaller, it's thinner, because it took 50 miles away a pound. That's why as the number gets bigger, the thread is getting finer. What if it takes 60 miles away a pound? It's finer yet. It took 60 miles away that pound. That's why the weight really is a length based, and what I just told you isn't true. Because it has nothing to do with the miles and pounds, really it's a kilometer. But we don't understand kilograms in the US, right? So really it's a kilometer to a kilogram weight. It is based on that system. Now here's the problem. As sewers, we expect a 48 poly to equal a 48 rand, equal a 48 cotton, equal a 48 metallic. We expect it to be equal. But they're not, because if you had 50 miles that weigh a pound in cotton, and 50 miles that weigh a pound in poly, and 50 miles that weigh a pound in metallic, they're not going to be the same diameters, right? That's why it's so confusing. So just consider the weight numbers on thread ballpark. 50 and higher is fine, 40 is pretty much medium, and 30 and lower numbers are the, the heavier threads, so the 30s and 20s. It's ballpark only.